It says preservation of our ancient heritage, that's there in the constitution. And yet, there is a new school which has emerged, which is telling us, particularly the Hindus, that you are being intolerant and you are being exclusive instead of inclusive. This country fought 800 years Islamic terror. Although Shivaji had Muslims in his army, so did Guru Gobind Singh, but they came as individuals. It was essentially a war between Hinduism and Islam. And the Islamic rulers made it absolutely clear. But the fight we never gave up. Iran was captured by Islam when it was, Iran was Zoroastrian, the Islamic forces went to Iran. It was called Persia in those days. Conquered it in 15 years. They converted 100% of the population of Iran to Islam. Neighboring country of Mesopotamia, Babylon, they conquered it in 17 years, they converted it to 100% Islam. Egypt was conquered and Islam converted Egypt into 100% Islam in 21 years. The Christians conquered Europe and converted Europe into 100% Christian in 50 years. In India, 800 years of Islamic rule, 200 years of Christian rule, and yet we are 80% Hindu even today. But I also say that therefore today they are attacking us for what they call as intolerance. Hindu terror. But as far as Hindu terror is concerned, not one person has been able to say whether in the Vedas or in the Upanishads or in the Gita it says, kill people who don't believe what you believe. So how can you call it Hindu terror when they are not quoting from any Hindu scriptures? It's just a bunch of mad people who may be, who may be congressmen in disguise for all I know. <laughs> because many of the times we have investigated a matter, we found it's not Hindu terror. It has not got anything to do with Hindus at all. Hindu, what the Hindu intolerance is growing. Intolerance is what? Or intolerance about what? What have we, have we prevented anybody from speaking what they want? Has anybody been sent to jail for saying something against the BJP or the RSS? They will spread canards and canards. Mahatma Gandhi was killed by RSS. Which commission inquiry says that? Jawaharlal Nehru said it. But Jawaharlal Nehru is not uh, the final authority. And most of the things that Jawaharlal Nehru said were on the instructions of Edwin Amount Batten. So therefore, today, don't feel put down by those who say intolerance, lack of inclusiveness. What lack of inclusiveness? We, in, we BJP people, we RSS people, we Vishwadarish people, we are trying to bring people as much together as possible. Why did we win the 2014 election and why we are going to win the 2019 election, 2024 election? It's because we are uniting the Hindus. The Congress strategy from beginning was divide the Hindus on caste basis, language basis, regional basis, and unite the minorities. We decided the process of Hindutva, we will try to unite the Hindus. In that, we also found that there were sections of the minorities who are ready to come with us. Women of the Islamic community said, if you remove triple talaq, we'll vote for you. <laughs> and Ram Janmabhoomi will be for Ram Temple. <laughs> Rajdeep Sardesai says, instead of temple, we should build a hospital. <laughs> I'm not against building a hospital. 
across Saryun River for the benefit of uh, Rajdeep. <laughs> but it will be called a mental hospital, not a physical. <laughs> what we need today is everyone, every Hindu says, I am Hindu first, then only I am Brahmin, Kshatriya, etc. <laughs> and those who can protect this heritage of Hindus will get preference over anything else. Oh, but this country must get back the glory of its old civilization, the united Hindu civilization in which others live as equal partners. And that is where you should be careful of those who intellectually try to overpower you to think what you are not or think, not think what you are. You are all one people of this, uh, this subcontinent called Hindustan and we are one people. All these caste barriers and all are artificial. They were brought in originally for a different purpose of division of labor. We are one India. That is the way to defeat intellectual uh, terrorism. That is the right way of going about it. Right means we may be called right wing or anything, but the focus is the cultural renaissance of India. That is the right response. Thank you very much.